In this video, we're going to look at how to find sales tax, gratuity or a tip, and markup. The reason these three topics are being combined in the same video is because there are similar steps to find each of them. The first thing we're going to look at is sales tax. Sales tax is an additional amount of money charged on items that people buy. The total cost of an item is the regular price plus the sales tax. So you can see in the example below, the original price was $40, but with a 5% sales tax, which was $2, the total price will be $42. Here's our first example. It reads, Drew wants to buy exercise equipment that costs $140 and the sales tax is 7.5%. What is the total cost of the equipment? So there are three steps in order to find sales tax. The first step is to convert the percent to a decimal. In order to do this, we need to remove the percent sign and then divide by 100. 7.5% as a decimal is 0.075. Moving on to step number two, we multiply the decimal by the price. 0 0.075 times 140 equals 10.50. And the final step is to add the tax to the original price. 140 plus $10.50 is equal to $150.50. So the total price with tax will be $150.50. Here is an example I want you to try. I recommend you pause the video and resume when you are ready to see if your solution is correct. Let's take a look at the solution. After completing the steps, the correct answer would be D. Feel free to pause and review your work if you would like. The second topic is tip or gratuity. A tip or gratuity is a small amount of money in return for a service. The total price is the original price plus the tip. So as you can see, the original price was $70. There was a 20% tip, which calculated to $14. So when I add the original price and their gratuity, the total price is $84. Here's our first example of how to find tip. The problem reads, a customer wants to tip 15% on a restaurant bill that was $55. What will be the total bill with tip? So once again, we have three steps to solve. Step one is to convert the percent to a decimal. We can do that by removing the percent sign and then dividing by 100. 15% as a decimal is 0 0.15. Step two is to multiply the decimal by the price. 0 0.15 times 55 equals 8.25. So the tip will be $8.25. And the final step is to add the tip to the original price. 55 plus 8.25 equals 63.25. So the final bill with tip will be $63.25. Now it's your turn to solve a problem. Pause the video and resume when you're ready to see if your solution is correct. Let's take a look at the solution. After completing the three steps, the correct answer will be B, $78.12. Once again, feel free to pause and review the steps if you would like. The final topic is markup. A store sells items for more than it pays in order to make a profit. The amount the price increases is called the markup. The selling price is the amount the customer pays for an item. So in order to find the selling price, we will have the buying price, so the actual price the store pays for an item, and we will add onto that the markup. So in this example, 
they marked it up 60%, which was equal to $60. So the final selling price would be $160. Let's take a look at an example. This example reads, a computer store buys a part for $75 and wants to mark it up 60%. What will be the selling price of the part? Step one is to convert the percent to a decimal. We can do that by removing the percent sign and then dividing by 100. 60% as a decimal is 0 0.6. Step two is to multiply the decimal by the buying price. 0 0.6 times 75 is equal to 45. So the computer part is going to be marked up $45. And finally, step three, add the markup to the buying price. $75 plus 45 is equal to 120. So the final price after the markup will be $120. Now it's your turn to solve a problem. Pause the video and resume it when you're ready to see if your solution is correct. Let's take a look at the solution. After completing the three steps, the correct answer would be C, $5.50. Feel free to pause the video and review the steps if you would like.